What's up, everybody? This is Jene Khan on the Jene and Joseph Share channel, and welcome back to another update. And today's update is transfer number twenty. Yeah, guys. So there's only six days left now until this transfer window closes at eleven p.m. So transfer number twenty will be five, five, five. And if you can see it, guys, five. Yeah, guys. Also, if you want it from this hand, it'll be five, 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 five. Yeah. So, let's just listen to a video that was from yesterday. Transfer show. With one week to go until deadline day, it's time now to go around the club, Starmesh. It is indeed, Carlo. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang would favour one week from to yesterday. a European club. That's if he is to move this window. Negotiations are ongoing between Aston Villa and Juventus for midfielder Rodrigo Betancourt. A sell-on clause inserted by his former club, Boca Juniors, is complicating the deal. Brentford close to finalising terms on a six-month contract with Christian Eriksen. Uh, Brighton are on the verge of completing the signing of teenage Paraguayan attacker Julio Enquizo. The fee is just under £6 million. Burnley interested in Aaron Ramsey, Andy Carroll and Steve Mounier as they attempt to sign players in this final week. Uh, Chelsea have completed the signing of teenager Dylan Williams from Derby County. Jean-Philippe Mateta started yesterday's defeat to Liverpool. There had been speculation linking him with a move away from Crystal Palace. Everton are looking for a new manager and one contender is Vitor Pereira. He lost his job at Fenerbahce just last month. Leeds United remain in talks to sign RB Salzburg midfielder Brendan Aronson. Salzburg don't want to sell him, but the player is keen on the move. Leicester City still looking for a centre-back. But they may wait until the summer now. Former Liverpool forward El Hadj Diouf has told us that Mohamed Salah deserves everything as talks continue over a new contract. Manchester City are working on a deal to sign River Plate striker Julian Alvarez. He's out of contract at the end of this year. Talks ongoing with Newcastle United as they try and do a deal for Manchester United forward Jesse Lingard. Uh, Newcastle will have to pay close to 45 million euros if they want to sign Diego Carlos from Sevilla. Talks are continuing. Sevilla won't let him go unless their valuation is met. As it stands, Norwich City manager Dean Smith is planning for Todd Cantwell and Max Ahrens to stay. Cantwell wasn't in the 20-man squad at Watford on Friday. Ralph Hasenhutl says early transfer talks with the club's new owner, Dragan Solak, have been positive. They have similar philosophies and targets. Tottenham close to a deal for Wolves winger Adama Traore. They've also been offered the chance to sign the 18-year-old Andreas forward, Mohamed Alisho. Watford have sacked Claudio Ranieri after just three months in charge at Vicarage Road. Marseille defender Duje Coletta Carr is one of several centre-back options West Ham United are looking at. And Arma Traore came on for the final 15 minutes against Brentford on Saturday. Wolves prepared to let him join Spurs if they get close to £20 million. Pounds. So yeah guys, that was about the transfer and uh, before we get head into it, what I was talking about is that press a like, comment down what you think, hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Please do so guys because we are on 57 subscribers, please 56 subscribers now, just let me double check on YouTube. So yeah, 57 subscribers. That's how much we got. That's how much we got. 
So yeah, guys, let's go back to Sky Sports on that on the Atlas. Let's go to that transfer news. Manchester United will consider allowing midfield the Donny van der Beek go on loan, and that's going to have Coutinho. Why is it Coutinho? Sorry, guys, I meant uh, Crystal Palace. I don't know why is it Coutinho there. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, talking about Coutinho, actually. Um, I hope that he stays in, in the summer. Spurs and Porto are in talks over Luis Diaz. Now, well, Liverpool after him, yes, they were. Sevilla after Carlos' new deal. Now, Sevilla have just got Anthony Martial on a loan deal. Um, so, yeah, guys. Christian Eriksen, he's set to join Brentford. But he needs to pass a medical. Because where he used to play with Inter Milan, yeah, it is illegal in Italy to play with an ICD, so basically with a device fitted to your heart, yeah, since he had a cardiac arrest with Denmark in the Euros, yeah. Um, Denmark came so close to the final, only losing to England by 2-1. So the penalty, well, I wouldn't say penalty, but through the rebound. So the penalty, but then it was a rebound, yeah. So yeah, in the UK, it's not illegal. So Everson is allowed to play. And for a small club like Brentford, he'll do good. Six months. So June 23rd, and then we'll see from there. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, then we will be doing about the liking, comment down, subscribing, and hit the notification bell. We'll see you literally... Um, well, I'll see you literally in a few minutes. So I'm going to do another update. Me and Joe did one yesterday together, yeah? As we normally do. Um, well, I'll see you in a few minutes. Let's just talk about what's happening with next Monday. Yeah? Okay, guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. I just gonna say. Yeah. See you guys, um, see you guys in the next update. And I wish we in a few minutes or whatever. Yeah? And then see you tomorrow for another transfer update. Windows loading fast. See you guys soon.